Hi, I wanted to share my experience with Godot so far after eight months of use in a serious project. First of all, the good things for starters is much more agile uh, than other engines. I use Unity for some commercial games and I try Unreal, but I had a, a very mixed experience. <laughs> um, Godot is much faster in the startup uh, stage. You can begin editing and running your project in less than 10 seconds, like like you see here. Uh, and that that's very important to me because um, sometimes the uh, attention span uh, between several different tasks is, is important to, to keep. Uh, and you can even um, run the game from the command line if you are, if you are in a hurry <laughs> to test something. Uh, so that, that's very, very good uh, for, for my style of development, especially because I, I tend to divide my attention between the Gener the level generator code, which I do in another language, and the interface of the game, which I do in Godot. So, uh, the edit and run cycle is also faster than with other engines. It uses much fewer resources, uh, memory and, and disk. That's also important to me. And it uh, as you see here, I'm on Linux sometimes, although I use Windows also, but uh, it's important to me to not have to uh, reboot to, to enter the game interface. So that's very important. Also, the asset pipeline is very good, uh, similar to, to other engines, but uh, I put it in, in the good category because other engines and I tried other than Unity were a bit uh, junky, um, especially integrating things from Blender. But uh, in this case, you uh, you can configure Godot to simply work with <laughs> with models made in in Blender. Uh, the 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 import is uh, automatic and you can uh, configure the modalities of, of importing different assets and preview preview the characteristics etc and it's it's very very seamless another thing is the the ui and the localization uh, are very streamlined in godot you you have very few steps to achieve very standard localization. You only have to create, um, in my experience, it, it's very simple. You you only have to create comma separated file with the localization and in, uh, Godot imports it and converts it automatically for you. And you then uh, configure here. Uh, to use the the files, it, it's very it's very simple, really. Ah, also I I must add to this list input configuring is very simple. It's uh, much more straightforward than in Unity. Uh, you also have here a, a section of the project uh, settings that is devoted to the input settings. So it's much, much more streamlined than in other engines. And um, it has animation tools uh, without the need for, for any third-party plugins. For example, when, when I need to use uh, Twins for procedural animation, I remember that uh, Unity doesn't have much functionality on that uh, front. So I always uh, had to install third-party plugins, but in um, in Godot it's so simple to use the built-in uh, twin uh, class 
which takes me to to one of the next points, which is the documentation is <laughs> is very integrated inside the engine itself. It, it's very good to use. You can also search uh, the online documentation, of course, but uh, it's very nice to have the documentation at, at your fingertips, uh, so to speak. Another very good thing is that uh, Godot has the GD script language, which is uh, seamlessly integrated with the engine. So you have all the properties of each, uh, of each um, kind of node you, you use is already recognized by by the language and that that's very it was very interesting to discover that uh, <laughs> that an engine can have a totally custom language for for use in that engine it it's, it was very surprising to me and very it, it's very pleasant to to use also it has strong typing as an optional feature if you if you want to use it and that that that's very good uh, coming from other language like, like c sharp for example <clears throat> so that that's ah one last good thing is that uh, there is a, a very fast uh, response of developers if you for example let me show you i i have two issues in the godot engine github and they were uh, in one instance um, it was resolved in less than two days and in another instance it was explained to me uh, a workaround very fast um, uh, that that surprised me because the interactions i had with other uh, engines in the past although they were uh, open source was a bit uh, slow perhaps i i had good luck with two with these two issues but uh, <laughs> i don't know okay that's it for the good things uh, i have a small list of worrying things that um, are the following first the gd script is a bit slow uh, because it's an interpreted language and for some of the more complex logic I need in my project it's is sometimes uh, a bit slow and I have to optimize in several ways um, the, the the code uh, or use uh, pre-processing techniques etc but uh, it's not so bad it, it's um, it's a bit slow but it, it uh, for now uh, it's it's very manageable and i experienced some uh, type inference fails in the code editor and uh, perhaps it's a problem with the with the code editor but i suspect it could uh, be a problem with the language interpreter but they are uh, they are very rare but when they occur are a bit annoying <laughs> but uh, for now it's it's nothing serious but i i want to be uh, thorough in, in my analysis and another problem i have sometimes is that uh, the version control tools uh, git for example uh, sometimes fights for the <laughs> the rights to uh, some uh, file uh, or some asset that uh, Godot is is opening, especially on Windows. Uh, this happens uh, more on Windows that, than Linux, but uh, yeah. But it's it's rare, and you always can uh, close the editor before uh, doing a, a pull or a or a push in the in the version control tool, because. Uh, to, to return to a previous point, uh, it's not so bad having to close um, Godot because you can open it again uh, and <laughs> very fast you are again uh, editing your game. So that's no, not so bad. But 
I wanted to mention it because several uh, several times it was a bit uh, annoying. And the only bad thing, <laughs> or or the main bad thing so far with Godot is something that affects my style of of development more than others, perhaps, uh, which is the I very much miss the scene view available in Unity and, and, and Real um, because I use uh, procedural generation. So, for example, <clears throat> in this case, all these all, all these uh, levels are uh, instantiated on the fly uh, by the by the world script uh, you see here. The 3D scene, uh, sorry, let me close this. The 3D scene of the game is only uh, <laughs> a very big wall <laughs> and nothing more. Uh, well, there is the player, but uh, yeah. So the, the scene uh, I have here available is very sparse. And when the game runs, um, the, the the level stitcher um, generates all the levels or, or loads them rather and stitch them together but I cannot see uh, this in the game view and Godot have uh, this remote view but it's not visual so I can uh, examine uh, the generated levels, but uh, it's not the same as in Unity, for example, when you can see in the in the scene view uh, visually what you are doing or what the uh, algorithm generated, and it's uh, it's a bit uh, annoying uh, to have to, for example, I could uh, save the the, this branch of the tree of the remote tree as a scene and examine it later but uh, obviously I will lack uh, all the live information uh, about the, the levels so that that's a bit uh, annoying but I uh, heard that uh, there are some plans uh, to add in the future a kind of uh, scene view or, or live scene view uh, of the game but uh, yeah it, it's it's the, the main difficulty I encountered in all these months all, all the rest is is very good really I, I really recommend people to to try the engine because it's it's uh, it's very usable and it has some worrying things but uh, it's really recommendable so that's it. I, I wanted to share these experiences I, I had. I hope you can use uh, Godot and experience for yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, consider supporting me using some of the links below. Thanks.